just going to do us tonight because somebody has to photograph us doing the ritual humiliation, light hearted bum fight that is. You can do me and I'll do you. I've got that on video. <laughs> And I know the power of editing. <laughs> There's my career as a children's <laughs> down the back. Oh, your divorce papers will be so So, what would you like to ask us? <laughs> well, that was the best question I could have had. <laughs> Lovely, well done. So, um, the scariest thing of all. Well, yesterday I was doing the school's program and I was featuring Axel Storr, who was a child of rock stars. Was he? Yeah. Oh. And his, but his mum and dad were always off around touring the world, so he has to go to a celebrity kids club, which he hates. <laughs> and, but luckily his uncle's come and taken him from his wonderful adventures. Okay. And uh, today I'm doing Olympia, my new series about Ollie, who... Uh, wants to be the Olympic champion in ancient Greece and runs in a really nifty tartan sheet on. <laughs> <laughs> it is a sheet on, isn't it? It is, yeah. I, I, yes, I call it a tight on, which sounds more rude, doesn't it? Really? Well, no, a sheet on sounds appalling. A sheet on. A sheet on. Oh. It's Greek. And is it Kerberos or Cerberus? Kerberos. 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 Cerberus is kind of the Latinized version. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Your sounds like a Scot. Kerberos. I. <laughs> Man the Transformer Kerberos, we're going in the captain. I'm going to Hades in the Hellcat. <laughs> What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you at a school event or a, or a sort of events thing? Um, what, the strangest or scariest or... Is this for children or is this for adults? Um, adults mostly. <laughs> okay, I had a parent stand up and Sterling, you know who you are, whoever you are, and he, st he stood up halfway through an event I was doing and he said, you're not an effing author. And all the children turned around and sort of looked at him and he just, he stood there swearing at me. It was absolutely horrendous. And um, I got no support whatsoever from the librarian and Sterling, you also know who you are, who, um, who said, I, th I think you better finish, Debbie. And in my absolute best BBC tones, I said, I've started, so I'll finish. <laughs> and I managed about five more minutes before I just actually had to give up because, you know, my bottom leg was trembling so much. It was oh my God. setting up a sympathetic vibration in the forest road bridge down the road. I was petrified. The guy was horrible. So that's the worst. How about you? I, I think my worst thing has been with autistic kids, I think. And when you're not told that in there are autistic kids in the audience yeah. and, and, and and when I didn't know about autistic kids before, and then there'd be this really irritating child and the kids go, oh yeah, I know about that, yeah, yeah, and, and, and they just keep interrupting all the time. And, and well, in time, actual fact, they're wonderful, but you need to know in advance yeah. that you have got a child who's going to go right off in the left field, yeah. which is great if you know, if you, know you can about then follow it. them off into the left field yeah. and get them to come and help you, and then actually say, give me more ideas, because you know I'm really short of ideas and you've got the ideas, but... Unless you're warned in advance, you have no idea. And I think one time I did get a little short with the child, and then just felt absolutely mortified afterwards. I don't, I don't think they, they knew or noticed themselves, but um, I, I felt terrible afterwards, and, and I kind of learned that trick. So now I know that any child that's been slightly strange like that, it's probably, it's probably on, on the spectrum somewhere. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> and to kind of work with it and go with it. And, uh, and work, so, you know. But we're on the spectrum, otherwise we would not be doing this job. We are so on the spectrum. You know, it goes with the job. Yeah. Oh, cool. What so, about you, Sarah? Are you on the spectrum? Oh. <laughs> She's dressed up as a pirate. <laughs> you need to ask. Yeah, we'll just stop that now. <laughs>